So welcome back to another video, Blender tutorial, this time for the first time with voiceover. So let's see what we have here. We just made a plane, scaled it up by 15 and opened the shade editor and here we are. So here we're going to create the bluish material, uh, a bluish one, a bluish base color. And we reduce the speckler to zero, the roughness also almost to zero, 0 0.055, and transmission to one. We, with shift A, we create a bump node, and also a noise texture node, and connect both together. And on the bump to the normal of the principal BSDF. You increase the detail to 10. And the roughness just a little bit and we reduce the strength of the bump to about a little bit more of the third one. And we go to the world tab and open the HDR, HDR image. You can see it has a lot of impact, a lot of effect into our scene. Here we just uh, made a keyframe to animate the scale of the noise to have some kind of waves to our ocean. As you can see we have some movement there. back to the wall tab and see if we can adjust some things on our HDR image. You will just move up the location just a little bit one, to make the horizon a bit more, more subtle. Preferences and there we have to load in the plugin called Landscape and Landscape so that we can create uh, quickly some landscapes which we will use for our Arctic ice shape. Here we change some basic things, not really important actually, but we will put some Voronoi, just some kind of rocky thing inside the ocean. The shape isn't actually very important. Will be more the material will be more important. So we will move it down a bit and we just need some more light to our scene. We will add some sun quickly. Let's first scale it up just a little bit. Move it down again. And we choose a light, and we'll duplicate it. Constrain on the Z axis. Here we would just reduce the power a bit, but we raise the rotation with Alt R. And there we set some rotation settings, which I think will give us the smoothest result in this lighting. We split the screen again and open the shader editor. We add a new material for our ice. And here we go. Saving the scene quickly, it is quickly, and we go and move forward to the ice material. Uh, just some little bit of color, okay? Some blue, and uh, 
the angle 535 also we don't have to forget to activate an occlusion the bloom and the screen space reflections reduce just the strength of the sun a little bit to about 30 Point light a bit more to the center, have it just above the eyes, and here we are. Finally, we go with the ice material. We will add a mid occlusion connecting the color ramp, and this one to the base color. The color ramp will be to have some more control to our ambient occlusion. Set the color 66 AEBC, kind of blue uh, turkey one. But also important, um, we uh, increase the uh, subsurface value of 3.3, the roughness to 0 0.7, and transmission just about half, less than half. Here we and uh, this place modifier uh, that for the texture we choose clouds and then we reduce the strength way down to 0.1 and then on the spaces we choose one of crackles a crackle and then we even reduce the strength more to 0.05 and add a zap division surface modifier just round the thing the th shapes a little bit more here we just need a uh, Pump node again. And connect the color ramp also. And add the noise texture node and connect all of them. And get a normal principal board BSDF. And here we make some subtle adjustments, just increase the scalability to 8, detail to the top of 15. And Color ramp, we choose a grayish color, move it about not almost to the middle, and the white one also somewhere in the middle, and we reduce the strength of the bump to about three quarters. Testing some checkboxes for the ambient occlusion to see if we can have a little bit more of a blue color on the white, almost white ice material. Just trying a little bit here. Just tweaking again a bit with the color and values for a pump note. So we are at minute nine and we should almost be finished. But here we change the from Aki Rectangular to Mirror Ball on the HDRI and with Alt Control Zero we just added the camera to view. We also checked camera to view, the checkbox, uh, so every move we make in the scene will affect the camera. So with some keyframes on the first and the last frame to the camera. We just select the uh, interpolation mode to linear so that the camera movement will uh, uh, the camera speed movement will be linear, which means it will be the same speed from the start to, the to finish. Here we duplicate the eyes, 
scale it down a little bit and rotate it to see if it fits to our screen to have some more structure in there. the strength a little bit more even for the sun. We would just will scale down this small rock. Scale down the Z a little bit to make it a little bit smaller. I think we have our final scene, we can now proceed with the adjusting the render samples and then choose some render, make the adjustments with render output later. Here we have increased the render samples to 512 and on the Output settings, we will type in the name in the directory where we want to save the scene, choose the file format, MPEG video, encoding MPEG4 and the quality output, exception lossless, and we will then go to render and choose render animation. And this is our final result and this concludes the video for today. Thanks a lot for watching, see you next time.